In the bosom of the jasmine's bush, mild childhood awakened. In the wake of the wind, I embraced the morning. When I grew weary of playing, I learned the language of the leaves. I learned the language of the water, the language of the birds, and the language of the stars. In my green dreams, I painted a picture of peace. I built a nest on the branches and flew towards the sun. Oh, to be young once more, to laugh with the flowers, to dance with the wind, to sing with the rain. Childhood, my sweet companion, you are forever in my heart. In the silence of the night, I hear your laughter echoing through the years. Though time may pass and the seasons may change, I will always cherish the innocence of my childhood. Sorab Seperi. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today is a nice day and it's not so hot anymore, so I can water my plants more frequently. Every so often, I like to arrange the decoration in my studio and buy new things from time to time, especially handmade items. On TikTok, I found a lovely lady who makes megurumis and she made a personalized doll. The link is in the description. When I was a child, my mom used to make stuffed toys for me, like bears, rabbits, a worm, and a panda. She told me that she had made them months before giving birth to me to decorate my nursery. Such a wonderful memories from my childhood. As I grew up, my parents had to part with many of my toys due to a lack of space and storage, so we donated them. Now, I have very few left, just a few stuffed animals and a Barbie or two. I used to have a several collectible Princess Barbies such as the Nutcracker, Rapunzel, Swan Lake, the Princess and the Popper. My favorite two Barbies were Rapunzel and Princess Annelise from the Princess and the Popper and she sang I'm just like you, you're just like me. I used to love that movie too. While I was organizing my studio, I found two photo albums, one from my childhood and the other from my first communion. My childhood was one of the most beautiful times of my life. I look back on it with nostalgia and happiness for the moments I lived through. I have some vague memories from when I was two just small scenes, but my memory really started to become clear from around the age of three. I remember loving to play with my little piano and sing. I used to sing the song Goodbye English Rose and Sacrifice by Elton John. That was when I started learning English, and what a better way to learn than through music, right? In another video, I mentioned how much I loved playing with dolls, miniature houses, and Barbies. I remember being a very curious and mischievous child. Every cartoon I watched made me wonder if those things could be real, while adults would often tell me to behave or don't touch that, or say I was so a troublemaker. I was just a child with a lot of creativity and curiosity, eager to explore the world and find answers to my whys. That curiosity helped me become someone passionate about art and music. Adults often struggle to understand how children perceive the world. Children see their surroundings with fresh eye and boundless imagination. As we reach adulthood, this stage of our lives fades away and we tend to become more rational and less open to imaginative possibilities we once embraced. Our focus shifts to practicalities and constraints, making it harder for us to grasp the wonder and creativity that the children naturally experience. Good morning, my lovelies. Last night, I was taking a look at this album and I'm a little bit disappointed because it doesn't have the measurements that I require. For example, the other pictures are like horizontal, verticals, but 
this oops so this <laughs> so this album fits perfect um square pictures with the other ones looks too cluttered so i decided that this one i'm going to use for a travel album or fun times the other one is for my childhood so i'm going to order a new one so this one is for trips i forget to say something else the other album it's vertical but it's longer it opens like a regular notebook and this one it's the horizontal today is sunday it's a fun day so basically i'm going to stay home and just watch bridgerton good morning it's a new day and i'm feeling quite silly i gotta go to the dentist and take care of your things let's go shopping oh my god i have to rush the taxis downstairs winter has officially arrived so i need to buy some candles and a lamp to put next to my plants I like this one. morning i'm very happy today guess what arrived ah! i'm very excited <laughs> excited because i've been waiting like around three weeks four weeks for this notebook do you remember that i chose the wrong one yeah but finally arrived the good one so i hope that this one fits what I require. It looks like a large size. I don't know if you can see it better here. Okay, you can see it better. Um, and yeah, well, I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna get ready. And after getting ready, we're going to open and see it. So, wait for around five minutes. Oh, I forgot to tell you that I'm going to get ready because we're going to the museum. Yeah, we are going to the museum. And I also want to show you around my city, especially the, what is this place called? The downtown? Lima Vieja, we call it here, Lima, Lima Antigua, El Centro, El Centro de Lima, no? Lima downtown, the plaza, the colonial part of Lima. So I want to show you because that part is surrounded by museums. And I want to show you around. And I am very happy, I'm very happy for this. Finally, 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 finally. Well, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna get ready. And now we've arrived at La Casa Fernandini. Located in the historic center of Lima, this stunning house was built in 1913 and once belonged to Jose Fernandini a wealthy Peruvian businessman. Designed by the architect Claude Sahad, the house boasts remarkable elegance. As we step inside, you'll notice the unique charm of each room, showcasing styles ranging from the grandeur of Baroque to integrated tales of Rococo and the artistic flair of Art Nouveau in the windows. Every space tells a story of its era the large hall is particularly impressive, adorned with beautiful gold leaf and gilding. One of the standout features of the house is the old elevator, the first of its kind in the city. 
Today, Casa Fernandini has been beautifully restored and now serves as a vibrant cultural and exhibition center. Well guys, I am back home. It was a very fun day today and I am ready to see what's in this bag. Let's go. Yeah, this is a notebook. It's larger. Um, it's unlined as well and beautiful. I don't know if you can see all the details here. It has glitter, this gold borders in, the, in this part. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Tomorrow we're going to start and tomorrow I will find the pictures that I'm going to use and I will find the pictures are of my other albums over there and choose the ones that I'm going to put here. And I'm going to rest now because I'm tired. I'm very tired. See you tomorrow. In every real man, a child is hidden that wants to play. The idea that within every adult lies in a hidden child yearning for dreams encapsulates a profound truth about human nature. It suggests that despite the demands and seriousness of adult life, there is an intrinsic desire for the idealism imaginations and aspirations that characterize childhood. By reconnecting with this dreamlike essence, adults can find a renewed sense of purpose, creativity and fulfillment in their lives. Dreams are often viewed as the domain of the children whose imaginations are free to wander and explore limitless possibilities. However, the need of dreams does not diminish with age. In fact, as adults, embracing our dreams can provide a crucial counterbalance to the structure and often rigid nature of adults' responsibilities. Dreams inspire us to envision a better future, push beyond limitations, and infuse our lives with meaning and excitement. Adulthood frequently demands a focus of practical concerns such as career, finances and obligations. However, integrating dreams into our daily lives can enrich our experiences and provide a sense of direction and motivation. Balancing these responsibilities with a pursuit of our dreams allows us to maintain a sense of purpose and passion. For example, 
pursuing long-held aspirations or setting new goals can invigorate our routines and provide a refreshing contrast to the demands of daily life. Dreams foster curiosity and trade that fuels exploration and lifelong learning. Maintaining a dreamlike sense of wonder allows adults to approach new experiences with enthusiasm and openness. This curiosity drives us to explore new interests, seek out opportunities for growth, and adapt to changes with a positive mindset. By remaining connected to our dreams, we keep alive the sense of adventure and discovery that can make life more vibrant and fulfilling. Embracing the hidden dreams within us infuses our lives with purpose and joy. Dreams are not just for children, they are crucial for navigating adulthood with creativity and fulfillment. Nurturing our dreams enables us to live with a greater passion and meaning, continually discovering new paths, potentials at every stage of our journey.